Today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Jabba the Hutt. Unfortunately, Spot couldn't find this in retail, but I picked this up from the folks over at Toots Toys. I'm going to provide the link down below if you guys have had some trouble, unfortunately some trouble picking up Jabba the Hutt for yourselves. Uh, definitely would head over to Toots Toys and uh, you can pick this piece up for yourself. Recommended for ages 4 and up. Not really sure, as doesn't really look like it has any small pieces. It doesn't even look like it comes with Salacious B. Crumb, uh, his little, uh, you know, Jabba's little pet. Um, it looks decent enough. I just feel as if there's probably not going to be a lot going on once we get Jabba out of the package. When we spin around the box, spin around the back of the box there. The read-up says, Luke Skywalker tries to use Jedi mind trick on Jabba the Hutt to make the Crime Lord release Han Solo and Chewbacca. But the Hutt is unaffected by Skywalker's Force powers. And then it says, Yaka, uh, Yaku Kacha Ka Puna Nisa E. Which translates to, your mind powers will not work on me, boy. Uh, you can visit Star Wars at www.starwars.hasbro.com. It says, also ask a parent before going online. So I'm not really sure. Maybe there's a game or something that you have to subscribe to when you get on there. Having said that, Spot's going to take a, uh, a break. Going to get Jabba the Hutt out of packaging. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Jabba the Hutt. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Having a look at Jabba the Hutt, basically what you see is what he comes with. He comes with only himself. I feel a little disappointed. I feel as if I would have opened Jabba the Hutt and though maybe he didn't have, have everything visibly in package, maybe on the underside of Jabba the Hutt I would have flipped over the box and there would have been other things in there. Maybe like even his... Uh, his platform, Salacious B. Crumb, something, maybe like, you know, his little tank of uh, frogs, but he didn't come with anything. He just came basically what you see right here. I like that at least he's detailed underneath, and I think he's a better looking representation of Jabba the Hutt versus the Jabba the Hutt that we got, oh, I want to say like a year or two ago from Hasbro as well, where it was, I think it was more like a material or rubbery tail. There was something really weird about him, and I, I find he just didn't work very well. This particular Jabba, on the other hand, does look really good. It looks like he did from the movie. He doesn't really do a lot, though. In fact, one of the things that actually listed on the bottom of the box, we turn, bring the camera in for a second. You can take his arms, his arms right here, and you can move his arms, and he moves his mouth. Yup, 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 yup. It's neat. Kind of wish it was only really on the one arm. I, I feel like really when you start adjusting the arms, which next to really impossible, any bit of adjustment you make, you can hear the clicking in his arms. And I probably would not be doing that all, all that much. Aside from that, really, he only has the articulation in the elbows. He does have some articulation with a hinge in the hand, um, but he doesn't really have anything else. I would have loved to see some sort of kind of like what they had done with the the NECA Mogwai and I really I know it's a different company but what they had done with the NECA Mogwai uh, figures where they had had some sort of trackball eye that would have been neat I would have loved to have seen that I kind of feel though with Hasbro releasing this guy especially under the banner the big banner of Black Series I wish we had gotten a little bit more just a little bit more to warrant picking this guy up. I mean, I love Jabba the Hutt, and for me, this is a figure that, even as a kid, I always wanted to get, and I just never got around to getting him. I always had, like, the... I always had the odd Star Wars figures. I had, like, the... Uh, I had, like, the Emperor's Royal Guard, and I had, like... Uh, I had like one of the at at drivers. I didn't. I really didn't have any of the the key characters. Jabba was always a character I really really wanted. I suppose the trade off for the fact that you don't really get a lot and Jabba really doesn't do a lot is the paint and detail on him looks as if he was taken right out of the movie, complete with the slime coming down his mouth. The touch of having his mouth open I do enjoy. I just feel like I wish it wasn't at the expense of uh, any articulation in really the arm. Uh, also, too, you can swivel, you know, you can swivel the top half of Jabba. Uh, I don't know if I would swivel it too too far because it kind of just disjoints the paint, really, from his face 
to his stomach area. So you kind of want to, I think for looks, you might want to keep it more so like that. Uh, as a whole, it's not a bad piece. I just feel like, I feel like Hasbro just kind of trimmed off ex excess expenses. They didn't give us a Salacious Bee Crumb, which if anything, they would not have given us a, sal a Salacious Bee Crumb that could have sat with him. Uh, granted, I would have loved to have seen the platform. I guess maybe there is another release of Jabba, or perhaps there's a Jabba's Palace release where Jabba will eventually sit on, but I feel like those kind of expenses could have easily been added to the release of Jabba and not made a collector like myself or collectors like you guys out there have to go and pick up extra pieces. Slave Leia, yes, I can justify that because it's a standalone figure. Characters like Salacious B. Crumb, the little uh, container of his frogs, and, you know, things like that could have easily been included with this figure. The figure as a whole is fantastic. It looks phenomenal. It looks it looks exactly like Jabba. But I just kind of feel like Hasbro uh, really skimped on what they could have potentially re released with him, especially being that he's under the Black series. Uh, Jabba the Hutt, I'm going to give you, sir, if a blob as you are, I'm going to give you, sir, an 8.5. You look phenomenal. I just kind of wish he had come with a little more than what we're looking at right now. If you guys are interested in picking up Jabba the Hutt for yourselves, I'm going to provide the link down below to Toots Toys. Uh, they got a whole selection of Star Wars figures and other pieces over there. I definitely would say check them out when you get a chance. Today's Toy Spot, we were having a look at the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Jabba the Hutt. A little disappointing. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more videos heading your way. Certainly, thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you next time.